There was a time when greyhound racing was for old blokes with ciggies hanging out the side of their mouths, but not anymore. When the top-rating radio duo Hamish and Andy decided to buy a greyhound called Fred Bassett for their listeners, they never dreamed they'd become the toast of the industry. Thank you so much to everyone in this room. Look, Andy and I, we went into this a little, a little green. We didn't really know a lot about greyhound racing, and we've met a world and a family that's so close-knit that, uh, that we've absolutely fallen in love with the sport. And the sport, it seems, has fallen in love with them, Fred Bassett, and of course, Andy's glamorous supermodel girlfriend, Megan Gay. <laughs> I have on good authority that Megan's uh, using me to get to Fred. And Fred, uh, <laughs> he turned up not wearing any pants, which I think is a little bit obvious. Yeah. Racing, Fred Bassett away okay. Fast out there was Black undercover, but Fred Bassett's charging through. Dubbed the people's champion, Fred Bassett has raced around the country, winning three times and attracting thousands of people. Here he goes, Fred Bassett by three. Needless to say, Andrew Copley from Greyhound Racing Victoria is wrapped. The greatest promotion Greyhound Racing's ever had. It was 1,600 at Sandown, followed by about 800 in Brisbane, another 1,600 in, in Adelaide, and then a whopping 6,000. Biggest crowd ever in Perth, so... 6,000 6, at a Greyhound, at a normal Greyhound The boys race. were absolutely mobbed. Ready? Well, if it isn't the genius dog himself. <laughs> Look at that, pretending he doesn't know me. Come on, Fred, play hard to get. That's his style. Fred's Come dropped in mate. to see Hamish and Andy do their show, which is heard nationally on the Today Network between 4 and 6 p.m. each weekday. Would he go faster if we waxed him? Well, he could. Chances are you've noticed Hamish is wearing a racing helmet padlocked to his head. Here's why. It's three days, Ham, that you've been wearing a helmet padlocked to your head, sleeping in it, showering in it, because you drove slower than me in the Celebrity Grand Prix, and that was the bet. Mm. Can I take the helmet off? I'm sure if you had driven faster than me, I'd be sitting over here, and you'd be doing ridiculous things to, to me. I would have released you, mate. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would have. Oh, that's like, sad. That's cast, a tragedy here. Cast your mind back to when you made me get Botox in my head. For your own good. Really? You're getting a bit wrinkly. <laughs> Later that evening, helmet-wearing Hamish joins Andy at Sandown for Fred's next run. These, these are our track suits. These are, are the track suits. Um, we wore these for every race that, uh, that, that Fred has been in. To be honest, were you actually just a bit taking the mickey out of greyhound racing at the start? No, look, not at all. Genuinely excited. And in, its, in Fred's first race at this very track, and the only time we've seen him here, he came dead last by about eight lengths. And it was one of the best nights. <laughs> <laughs> While the boys entertain their fans, trainer Angela Langton is getting Fred ready to race. We'll get his papers, then we'll go to the stewards and they'll check his ear brand to make sure he's the right dog and we haven't impersonated Fred, check the colouring and the markings. Um, then we'll go over to the vet and she'll check to make sure he's in good, good condition to run, make sure everything's OK. Then he'll go through the weigh scales and be weighed. Going to a good cause. As well as donating any winnings to Melbourne's Royal Children's Hospital, Hamish and Andy have helped raise the profile of the Greyhound Adoption Program. <laughs> Not that there's any talk of Fred retiring just yet. He's ready to race. I was reluctant to call him Fred Bassett because the comic is rubbish, but Hamish insisted, so... <laughs> We've, we actually had a few people think that we, got, we had a Bassett hound racing greyhounds <laughs> and people are going, no wonder he doesn't win that often. <laughs> He's a basset. None of that non-winning that non -winning talk, please. No. Yeah, Come so on, Freddie. He can hear you. He's obviously watching. Oh, he's oh, right. Go on. Get him. Don't get hit. 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 A good Come on, Fred. Chase him. He realizes I'm done. He's chasing well, too. Come on, Fred. And so the Fred Bassett legend continues to grow. It's hard to tell who's having more fun, Hamish and Andy, Fred, or the fans who come to watch. It's our honour to represent the people in getting to know Fred. Big guy. <laughs> <laughs>